Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Steven. I'm Minnie. And welcome to Enjoy English School. And we're going to talk about features, and today's date is March 18th, covering pages 36 to 39. So, we're going to still be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly sides of travel. 那我们今天的主题样是专题特写,3月18号,大概会在36到39页的部分。那我们的主题样是游客面面观,奥可以退散的部分哦。Traveling is great, except when it becomes too popular. 那旅游是很棒的事情,但是如果变得太受欢迎,就不好了。Right, so you would usually think tourism for a place is good for that location, right? Mm -hmm. But actually, sometimes it could have some negative effects. Mm. So we're going to be learning about that today and today's excerpt. Let's start! Tourism is a great thing for a lot of places. Alright. It boosts the economy, provides jobs, and exposes travelers to new and interesting cultures. Alright, so here we see like uh, three things being listed, and each one starts with a verb. So when you list things, you have to be very consistent. If you have them with different verbs, you have to make sure that each part between the commas has like a different verb, okay? But if you're just listing things like, I'm going to buy apples, bananas, and pears, because it's all saying things that you want to buy, this list doesn't require you to have a verb in each section. But for this part, for this particular sentence, it's a different verb for each part, so we have to make sure we have the same verb in the same tense for each part. So, boosts the economy, provides jobs, and exposes travelers. 那在这边这个句子啊，你可以看到它其实就以中文来讲，它就是一个排比的句子。三个以上我们称为排比句，那排比句你可以是每个逗号中间都是一样的词性。那在这边，它每一个逗号之间要排比出来的东西都是用一个
we're talking or introducing what over tourism means.、Mm. So it's when too many travelers go somewhere. So it's too crowded. Okay. 太拥挤了。太拥挤了。Particularly, so we're we're gonna be talking about 指定来说哪一个部分 So particularly, and this word is so super hard to read, even for native English speakers like me. Like sometimes if you say it too fast, it's like particularly. Okay, <laughs> but how do you make it easier for yourself? First, let's start with the word particular. 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 So make sure whenever you have an L sound in any English word, you have to make sure that your L comes in between your teeth. Like that, la, okay, particular, and then particularly like that. So your tongue has to come out twice, really fast. It might it might be really difficult at first, but it's very very important that you get this movement down because a lot of English words have L sounds, and if you don't have that tongue come out, you can't make that sound out without sounding like you have 大舌头 okay,、mm -hmm. particularly like that. 所以在这边 particularly 这个字啊，对当地母语者来讲也是 l 的音很难发。所以在这边我们就要练习 l e r l y 两个 l 的时候，你这个舌头该怎么样卷，该怎么样弹。因为在英文里面 l 的字非常多，所以这个读音非常重要哦。Yeah, and then in Chinese like l, you guys don't have to actually stick your tongue out. Yeah, yeah. So it's a different sound. You can't use the same concept. You have to really let your tongue come out. Okay, and then when a place can't handle large numbers of tourists, it doesn't mean that that place is actually holding on to these people, but it's saying that there's just too many people that it's out of control. They can't handle it. 那在这边 can't handle large numbers of tourists 这边，它指的不是说真的没有办法容纳，指的是太多的情况，就是超过的情况。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，large numbers of tourists 呢 is also just a way of saying a lot, a lot of, of tourists. Exactly, just another way to say that. 嗯。This means more traffic jams, more trash, and inconvenience for locals just trying to go about their daily lives. 这就表示会有更多的交通堵塞，或者是垃圾，以及当地居民每天光是试着过日子就能够感受到的这些不方便。Right. So here we see another list. Right. So we see more traffic jams, more trash, and Here, if you add more inconvenience, you could do that as well, but it's not necessarily here. So,、uh, it's not necessary here. But what are traffic jams? A jam here is not guo jiang, right? Okay, <laughs> this traffic jam means just a side to. Okay,、yeah. traffic jam. When something is jammed, it means that it's stuck. Exactly. So more traffic jams, more trash, and inconvenience for. So some when something is inconvenient. Uh, for somebody, we use the word for, for behind it. Okay, so inconvenient for who? For the people who live there, the locals. And what are they trying to do? They're just trying to go about their daily lives. 他们只是想 so just trying to do what? Go about their daily lives. When we say go about doing something, it just means to continue doing something. 持续度日过日子的意思 Exactly. So、mm. a lot of times we'll say go about your day. 你就继续按照你的方式去过你的生活 Go about your day. Go about your day. All right. Is there anything you want to add to that? No.、Nope. Okay. All right. In places like Iceland or Croatia, the tourism industry was once quite small. 那在冰岛或克罗埃西亚这些地方，旅游业的规模曾经其实蛮小的、哦。Right, so here in places we could actually also say in countries like Iceland or Croatia, but sometimes we'll just use the word places because some countries not might not really be countries; it might be districts. It's just a safer word to use in places such as like. Iceland. So even though it looks like it should be Iceland, it's Iceland. Iceland. Okay, pronounced with like an L I N D sound. Iceland or Croatia. Croatia. Okay, the tourism industry was once quite small. 所以在这边呢，我们可以提到这边有 places 这个字，对不对？在这个句子里面，我们可以把 places 改成 countries， 因为后面我们提到两个国家。但是其实如果你要讲的可能是区域啊，可能是小地方，混合的讲，那我们讲 places 地方来讲，就会比较统瓜性的，就不会有你后面要讲的什么而影响了这个字的用法。Right, so here the word once, uh, once quite small. It doesn't mean 一次 It means like 曾经 exactly. So it means that now it's not small anymore.、Mm. Okay, so what changed? Then came Airbnb and social media like Instagram. 
。然后呢 ，Airbnb 还有像是 social media， 就是我们所谓的社群媒体，像我们的 Instagram 就出现了。Right, so 出现 here we use the verb came. Then came Airbnb. B N B is bed and breakfast. Okay, why is it called Airbnb? Because now it's online, right? So it's kind of as easy to get to like air. So Airbnb and social media likes Instagram. Okay. Suddenly, large numbers of rooms opened up outside of the usual limited number of hotels. 那突然间呢，大量的客房在一般且数量有限的饭店之外，就突然间都开放了。Right, so because of Airbnb, there are more rooms available. There are more rooms opening up. Here we see large numbers of rooms. Large numbers. You also count as like a large numbers, which、okay. is just a lot of. So a lot of rooms opened up outside of the usual. We see up and outside. These are both preposition words right next to each other. But the up is a、uh, opened up. It goes with open. Okay, and then. Outside of the usual is in another part. In what? Exactly, the usual limited number of hotels. So here we could actually just say outside of the、uh, the limited number of hotels. Is that outside of the usual number of hotels? That's it. They're just using two different adjectives to emphasize that there are a limited number of hotels. So in this part, actually, we directly use usual or directly use limited. They are all the same meaning. But when these two words are used together, it lets us know that oh. 原来它开放的数量真的是比以前一般的情况还要多很多的意思。Right, so it's just 一个强调。So sometimes you can use two adjectives just to give the listener an extra feeling of what you're trying to convey. 嗯、mm. ，Right, more people could visit, and they did, going far beyond what local roads and tourist sites could handle. 那更多人能够造访当地，也真的的确。有更多人前来，而且远远超过了地方道路跟游客景点啊，它能够负担的这个程度。Exactly. So here, if you could hear in the sentence, I actually had a change in the way I said it. Yeah. More people could visit, and they did. And they did. Going far beyond. So and they did. 就是他们确实有 ，right?、Mm-hmm. So 就是有多一个那种那个声音的一个表达。So that in English is very important. A lot of times we do change the ups and downs in our speech to help people who are listening catch on to what we're trying to convey. 对，所以在英文里面抑扬顿挫的部分，我们声音的表达上面就非常重要。老师一再的强调说，我们英文就是很 dramatic， 对不对？很戏剧化，然后该强调的地方要强调。这边也一样，大部分的人呢都拜访，而且他们真的来了。Exactly, and they go far beyond what local roads and tourist sites could handle. So you could just say going beyond. That's it. Going far beyond. It makes you emphasize. 远远超过。Exactly, even more than what we would think. So far beyond. This action angered locals, and suddenly signs saying "tourists go home" began to appear. 那这样子超过的现象啊，就惹怒了当地人。突然间呢，就有了很多的这种标语，写着“游客滚回家”，然后开始就出现在大街上了。Right, so these signs are starting to appear. Right,、mm. these these tourists are making locals very angry. Ah, yeah. All right, let's take a short break. <laughs> So before you travel, ask yourself, should I go? So, in, 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 in Should I go? Okay, so make sure you put those pauses in there so it's easier for people to 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 understand. If I did it without the commas, it'd be so. Before you travel, ask yourself, should I go? Right. So you're like, what what are you trying to say? Okay. So it's really important to have those pauses. So you can see in our article, there are many quotes. Actually, these quotes are helping us express English so that our readers can listen more clearly. So you can see the teacher's correct and the slightly wrong one. You can see that when he stops talking, we can very clearly understand. 哦、oh, ，他是要表达什么？没听到的时候，就好像读字机一样。哎、right. ，在干嘛 ？Right, right. And then here we say the verb ask.、Mm-hmm. Would, right? I have a lot of friends that have very a lot of difficulty with this really short word、ask. because it looks really easy, right? But a lot of people might go axe. 
Okay, uh. A K S. No, you have to make sure it's ask. Okay, ask. so the S sound comes first. This is something I, I often hear. Oh, he asks me. X. Okay, 那个听起来是 a x 斧头 a x e 是斧头 x 可是是 ask. Okay, 然后如果加 s 是 asks. Okay, 有就是 ask 后面再加一个漏音 asks. Okay, it's kind of difficult to say, but if you practice it, it won't be too difficult. Asks. Asks. Okay. Will your presence negatively affect the environment or local way of life? 你的出现呢，是否将会为环境或当地的生活带来负面的影响 ？Right, so presence 出现 can be that, or 你的在那边的存在，你出席 ，OK, your presence， 你就在那边。Will it negatively affect the environment? 负面的，负面的。So what's the opposite of negatively? Positively. Right, positively 就是正面的 ，P O S I T I V E L Y. Positively, OK. Affect. 那你看这 affect 中文是影响，影响。那 affect 呢？它是 verb form， 它是动词。Okay, so a f f e c t is the verb. But oftentimes we hear affect, which is the、e? noun form. Okay, and then that has the e. Okay, they're both pronounced affect. affect. Okay, they have the same pronunciation, but they're used differently. So the verb form is affect a f f e c t. The noun form is affect e f f e c t. So just know the difference. One is verb, one is noun. A is verb, E, e is, is noun. noun. Okay, so will affect the environment or local way of life. So what is the way of life? So it's like how you live life. Exactly how you usually live your life, your daily routine. Okay, but when there's a lot of tourists coming in, it's hard for these locals to have their normal way of life. Okay, 平常的生活步骤 Try to travel only if your presence there at that place will be good for the locals, not just good for you. 试着在你出现会对当地而非只对自己有好处的时候再去旅行吧 Exactly. So only if. 只有是这个情况以下 Only if your presence there at that country or that place will be good for the locals. 如果是对这些 locals 不好的话就不要去了 Yeah, or will be bad for the locals. Okay, so 可以用这个说法 Not just good for you. 所以你看我这个 Not just 在这个 comma 后面我把我的那个音调又拉高了 Not just good for you. 不只是为你好 So this is just another way in English to convey that. Okay. All right. So next time you go somewhere, it's seriously really important. Just like you have to really respect that、mm -hmm. country or that place. A lot of times you can't be like, "Oh, in my country I do this, and I can't. I'm not going to do that here." You have to respect that place. 谁输？真的要尊敬那个地方。Mm. All right. Let's go into the review section. All right. So, what does the verb boost mean? 促进 So boost the economy. 促进经济发展 All right. So tourism also exposes travelers to new cultures. So what does that mean? 所以就是让这个旅客们接触到不同的文化 All right. So don't forget, it's expose someone to, to something. something. Exactly. And what is a phenomenon? 一个现象 All right. Don't forget, it's phenomenon. Phenomenon. Okay, and what is over tourism? 超限旅游 Uh huh. And if we're gonna use the adverb particularly, what does that mean? 尤其 Yeah, 尤其是 So particularly, don't forget you have to stick your tongue out twice, and it has to go between your teeth. Particularly. Particularly. Yes, exactly. It's hard to do at first because the L sound is just difficult, but you just have to keep practicing. Particularly. Okay. So, what is a large number of tourists or large numbers of tourists? 一个大量的，很多的。Mm -hmm. So, if you have an A in front of large, a large number, that、mm -hmm. that S is doesn't need to be there. Okay, it's a singular form, a large number of. But if you don't have the A in front of large, put S. Yes, put S. Large numbers of. So it just means a lot of. Okay. And what is the adjective inconvenience? 不便 Oh, sorry. That's the noun form.、Yeah. Inconvenience.、Mm -hmm. And the adjective form. Is inconvenient. Okay, take out the C E and put a T. So C E 结尾是名词 ，T 结尾是形容词哦。Okay, so it's really inconvenient. Okay, 那就是非常不便不便的意思。All right, so if I say go about your day, what does that mean? 就继续度日。Right, so just another way to say continue. Okay, 继续。So I'm going to go about my day. 我现在就继续，就是按照我的生活步骤继续下去。All right, so what is presence? 
出现。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，and negatively， 负面的。And the verb form of uh uh effect is with a. Uh, the verb form. Uh huh. It starts a, with, a, with a, a. And if it's a noun form, it's e. Exactly. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>第三十八页，专题特写：旅游面面观，奥克退散。The good, the bad, and the ugly sides of travel. Tourism is a great thing for a lot of places. It boosts the economy, provides jobs, and exposes travelers to new and interesting cultures. But there is a new phenomenon called overtourism. Which is proving to be a big problem. Over tourism is when too many travelers go somewhere, particularly to a place that can't handle large numbers of tourists. This means more traffic jams, more trash, and inconvenience for locals just trying to go about their daily lives. In places like Iceland or Croatia. The tourism industry was once quite small. Then came Airbnb and social media like Instagram. Suddenly, large numbers of rooms opened up outside of the usual limited number of hotels. More people could visit, and they did, going far beyond what local roads and tourist sites could handle. This angered locals, and suddenly signs saying. Tourists go home. Began to appear. So, before you travel, ask yourself: Should I go? Will your presence negatively affect the environment or local way of life? Try to travel only if your presence there will be good for the locals, not just good for you.